Good afternoon! What? Is it ready? Say good afternoon. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> Just been in our provisions box. So, we... <laughs> We didn't plan to spend four days on this campsite at all. So the best thing that has been brilliant for us is our provisions box. So I can highly recommend to bring just bare essentials. Today I'm going to be having a Mazzy special spicy fried rice. Dan just found this, which he didn't even know he had, a Japanese curry. And he's also got um, corned beef sandwich. Lucky for me, look, I found them down there as well, out in the boot. So, they're mine. <laughs> and also, just buying milk like this as well is absolutely fantastic. Always to hand. And I'll tell you another big tip as well. These kind of rolls, the par-baked ones, always handy to have. Because, like I said, we didn't know we were going to be here for four days. And there's my tea for tonight. So I've actually made just a bit of curry sauce to go with it. I wouldn't usually with my granddad's special fried rice. So this is a great provision as well. It's a Mayflower Chinese curry. Now I have been talking about that for years and years and years. It's a great thing to have in your cupboard. Uh, add peas, add onion if you've got it, but I don't. So just a bit of curry sauce and uh, Red Dead spicy fried rice. I have asked Dan if he wants all this as well, but he doesn't. So I wouldn't usually go to the effort and cook myself something like that, but I am today. Dan's, like I said, just gonna have a sandwich because he, he, he just wants it. And he's also got this as well. I mean, there's gonna be plenty of leftovers anyway. So I'll just reheat that a bit later on now. So, provisions is essential to have in your cupboards, whether it be pot noodles, blah, blah, blah. It really has helped us out. By the way, I've strapped up my uh, two fingers. <laughs> Dan was like, well, you've done that wrong. Well, I have no idea. I've never strapped up my finger before. It's this one there. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't point because I'm holding the camera. <laughs> this one there that I feel is broken, so... He reckons I've done it wrong, but hey ho, it's it's. I'll see how I go with uh, it being strapped up. Just realised now I've got curry up my sleeve. Blimmin' marvellous. <laughs> Good morning to the start of Storm Ashley. <laughs> so it doesn't officially come in till tomorrow, but the weather has been getting bad. Even just look at the state of our window screen. I don't think it's going to show up on here. Our window screen in four days that we've been here has gotten in a right mess. Right, we're all packed up, ready to go. We've got just over an hour's drive this morning. I'm a little bit nervous. It's windy out there, it's started to rain. Uh, it's quite windy out there. And we've got to go over a bridge. So, and they're saying that some of the bridges are going to be shut. So, I'm a little bit nervous to be driving in the wind this morning. Dan's more concerned about tomorrow. But as long as we're safe tomorrow, I'm not that concerned about tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but it's 80 mile an hour winds, no matter where we are, it's always a danger. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I just, if you're with people, you feel better, don't you? So that's why I want to be there, bang on 12, to get the best spot. Well, I, I wouldn't mind starting to leave soon, if I'm honest. I really don't want to wait for the weather to get any worse. It won't we, get any worse can, today. It's tomorrow. It's another 40 hours before it gets really bad. If we can get the majority of the driving done, get over that bridge, we can park up for a bit, can't we? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Right, so we're going to head off now in a minute. First things first, that window screen needs washing, doesn't it? Yes. We're on the road. Everything's all done. And just in that little bit of time, the weather has actually improved. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, the wind's calmed down a bit and the sun is shining. I'm going to ask what do other people think. I've filled up the water tank because it's windy to give us a bit more weight. Would you do that or leave empty still? Just uh, want to see if I'm doing what everyone else does. Right, I wanted to go the other way. But it's trying to tell me to go this way, which we've already been. This is the way we came, but it's yeah. quicker. 
But I didn't like this road. But I don't think I'd like that road either. I think they're both going to be windy and horrible. Just not giving you the option now this morning, is it? Not really, no. Anyway, we had a wonderful stay there, four days. And usually we get a bit itchy after that time. Yeah. And we both agreed we could have stayed there longer, couldn't we? <laughs> it was nice. It's, nice. it's still nice to move on today, mind. Let's quickly talk about your toilet cleaner. What about it? Well, you're having trouble, weren't you? You were asking for advice and stuff. Oh, yeah, my, oh, my, my second bottle's fine. It was just that first bottle. Yeah. So it must have been a dodgy bottle, I don't know. Yeah, so hopefully... There's still quite a bit in that. I'm just going to have to try and empty it into another one, I think. Yeah. God, I can hardly see. I know. Have you got your sunglasses? Better without them. How cute is that? Well, it's not, is it? They're in the middle of the road, Mazza. <laughs> Well, they didn't move for you. Wandering down road. They think the tarmac road's been put there for them. Rainbow. Dreams can come true. Just going to pull over for a few minutes. Strange weather out there today. Ew. What? That just fell on me. Ew. <laughs> One hour and five minutes before we can get on campsite. That long? Yeah. But we're not sitting here for an hour. Well, it's 15 minutes to go yet, so we've got 45 minutes to kill. Oh, OK. <laughs> so we are at, we've just crossed Kai, oh, Kyleski, is it? Kyleski Bridge. Can you remember last time we were here, Mazzy? We parked no. there. No. A lot of Gary boys, as you call them. Oh, was that here? That was here. It was rammed that day. It was rammed with yeah. kids in really nice cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. On some kind of tour. Yeah, yeah, they had some cool cars, actually, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to chill out here for a bit, I think. What's out there, then? What do you mean, what's out there, then? If you want to know what's out there, go have a look what's out there. You look really comfortable <laughs> sat there, just doing nothing. I am. I'm not stupid. I ain't going out in the cold. <laughs> It's not cold, it's just a bit windy. Yeah, I'm comfy. <laughs> I'll go show them the bridge. Oh. Here it is. I seem to remember it was beautiful. Maybe it is on a sunny day, I don't know. Nothing special. Oh, it's high though. Look how wide this lock is. Is it a lock? I'm guessing so. Just checking this sign out here. Kylescu Boat Tours. And UK's highest waterfall. Now this sounds pretty good really. 10.30am, watch my head pal. Jesus, there's a drone going over my head. 10.30am, 12pm, 2pm, 4pm. On a little boat, how nice would that be? And it says here, during the tour, you'll see Britain's highest waterfall. I'm not even going to try and say that. It's the highest waterfall in the United Kingdom with a sheer drop of 200 metres, which makes it, in full flow, it's over three times higher than Niagara Falls. That's incredible, because I've never even heard of it. Yeah, I'm not right happy about that. Someone just flew a drone, literally about three, two, four, above my head. Idiot. Anyway. Interesting story here. Um, trying to sink a German battleship here, Tirpitz, by the X-Craft. Now, the X-Craft are submarines, like mini submarines, and they used to train in this loch here. And I didn't realise how small they were, guys. I saw this picture here. You actually sit on the outside of the submarine. Shows one there, which makes it look huge, but it clearly isn't. And there's one coming out of the water. And these dudes were on board. These um, X-Crafts. How cool. And judging by the picture, because I can't be bothered reading everything, I'm guessing they got the ship. Hey, lovely man out there, Mazzy. Yeah, what are you talking to him? 
This guy here has got a big smile on his face. Yeah. He says he's off to his campsite, but he's in a oh. car. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. Oh, bless him. He says, can you take me a picture, please? Oh. So I took two pictures of him on the oldest camera. Honestly, it's like something from 1990. Oh, bless him. So I took him two pictures and he was putting his hand up and smiling. Are you filming me, by the way? I'm filming me, filming you oh, now. I've just filmed an auto or something going across. Have you really? Yeah. Wow. It, they're hard to see because obviously the waves and stuff. But if I go back, I'll show you. Yeah. Where, all you can see really is its head. But Exciting. Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, this guy said he's off to, uh, to our campsite and he said, I think there's a shop. And he was really excited because there's a shop. Yeah. I said, I think there's a pub there as well. He went, a pub? He says they might even have a post office. I says they do. <laughs> <laughs> and he was well chuffed. He's so excited now. Here you go, look, look. Wow. It's a seal. Is it well, a seal? Well, I wondered if it was a seal. I'm pretty sure. Or an otter. I think it's a seal. I'll have to have a good look at it later. Yeah. But Very then, good catch, Mazzy. And then he went under. I'm not sure if I've caught him again. Well, it's I, hard to see with the waves, you know. <laughs> yeah. I need to get my map up on my phone. Yeah. Is Does it go out to sea? Or is it... Well, a, I'm only saying waves, really, because it's windy, so that's why, but... Yeah, that lock goes out to sea, so that's a seal, is that? I wondered if it was a seal. How cool! Yeah. I wouldn't have thought yeah. you'd get a seal so far inland. To be honest, all I did was seeing some something strange with the water going around like this. Mm. So I zoomed in just to film it. Next thing I saw is then this thing go past. Mm. So that was an accidental catch. Well, well done cool. you! I've just checked Mazzy's footage and I can confirm it's a seal. A grey seal, I think. Yeah, you saw it properly then, didn't you? Very impressive. Oh. Bye bye, see you on the campsite. Oh, he's got his thumb up, look. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> well, we've arrived. <laughs> just popped a spa, got all stocked up now. Um, got some lush dinners going on. That was a really good spa, actually, it's wasn't very it? Very good. Yeah, for sure, yeah. We're in Scoury, Spa Scoury. They even got a bar connected to it. Uh, God, don't know if we'll live popper there or not. I'm not sure. We'll see. And to be honest, I thought this was going to be even packeder than what it is. So, but we have noticed people don't arrive till later on in the days, do they? Oh, Ooh, they've got laundry They're as all well. Traveling. Yeah. So. We need to find a spot which is going to be well protected from that wind and well, I'm not sure where that's going to be. That's unless if we're allocated it. Some some of these campsites we've been allocated them. Um, Time will tell. Yeah. It's like Teletubby land out there. Look, the different layers up there. Slight little hiccup already. It says, well for a start you have to call them. Uh, for eight uh, out of hours, sorry. But it says cash only. And we haven't got enough cash, not even for one night. So I think Dan just popped to the spa to see if he could get into the EA. See if they've got an ATM. I can't talk this morning. So I'm guessing he must have been to an ATM because now he's calling him. What's going on? Got to ring a number and it's not connected. It says not registered on network. Oh. There's another guy now on the phone because he's waiting as well. So we've been allocated then. Pictures one and two. So I'm guessing She's they're down here. the front. She says, just park up, pay me yeah. at five. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go down and pay her at five. I, I just I prefer to not have been allocated really. That's because she can't be bothered coming over and letting us Because Where's one and two then? We don't want to be on the edge do we I don't know they're not very like these are little signposts but where they are I don't know so we've got number one and the guy behind us has got number two oh, all the way around, whichever. yeah whichever oh, yeah. 
how do you know what's number one and two? There's little signs you're just fly, flying past them though, but... Don't pee on the grass. Oh, does it say on the electric boxes? Oh, here we go, right, that's 12, that's 12A, right, so hopefully we're not down here. No, we're not down here. Right, so it must be back up there. Yeah. Look at the view though. Definitely can't complain with the view. But, <laughs> I'm not happy at where I am. So, the first thing, on reception it says, reception open between 11 and 12. Yeah. You're not allowed to check in till 12, so what's the point in that? Yeah. Surely there should be someone there 12 we, till We were one. hanging around because you are a stickler for time. Yeah. So we didn't arrive before the 12. Yeah. But yeah. So, then I tried to ring the number, which it says do, because she only lives down the road somewhere and it wouldn't connect. I have no idea why, but the guy next to me, he tried ringing it and it connected for him. So must be something wrong with my phone. Um, and she says, right, just go on numbers one and two and pay me at five o'clock. So I've got to hang around till five for her to mm. pay her. And it's cash only. Yeah, cash only. And <laughs> Pitch one and two is exactly where I don't want to be in a storm tomorrow night. No, I wish we could have picked our own pitch. I'll be speaking to her tonight. I don't really want to be on top of a cliff, as beautiful as the view. Exactly. I'd rather be all the way over there. <laughs> so yeah, this is the direction the wind's going to come tomorrow night. And the guy next to us is leaving, to, he's only staying for one night. Um, even if there was someone there, I wouldn't want to be up here in 85 mile an hour winds. So I think I'm going to have to ask her if we can move tomorrow. It's all right tonight, but tomorrow I need to move. But yeah, what a lovely view. Beautiful view. We've got some rocks down there we can have a look through. Nice beach over there, cliffy bit. And we've got island coos. We've just passed them on the road. So we're going to get some close-ups with the island coos and we've got these amazing meals. We've treated ourselves, we've gone all out, we, we you know, we, we, we could be going through a storm and all out, could be stuck here for a few days. So we want to enjoy the opportunity of getting some decent meals. So the first meal we're going to be having on one of the days will be like a roast dinner, basically. But with chicken, wrap them up with uh, stuff and a bacon and stuff. So that's all that with a few veg. Well, I say a few. Broccoli. Broccoli. We've got roast veg mash. Yeah, and maybe some peas if I've got peas. Yorkshire puddings. York peas. Another day, then you fancied like. Well, you wanted beef burgers. I'm wanting beef burgers with some hot noodles. Uh, noodles, I've got to try. Yeah. So I'll be having that one day. Tonight, I fancy tacos. Yeah. So, and I've got a taco kit, but we saw this for cheap. So I thought it's the same thing really. Either or. It's just not a boat. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a wrap, not a boat. Either or now that Mince Mazzy thinks it's gonna be quite fatty because there's a lot it of does white look in fatty. there. But that'll make it juicier, Mazzy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and then for another night we're thinking they're just like nibbles. So we've got shredded chicken, potato skins, loaded potato skins, garlic oh, mushrooms, shrimp. mozzarella sticks. And just sort of have a nibble on those. So yeah, we're going to eat like kings. Yeah, yeah. If we're still here. Because we have been, um, so I wouldn't say depriving ourselves, but we haven't been eating luxuriously, have we? Luxuriously, properly, same thing. We're both lacking nutrients, aren't we? That's a fact. <laughs> it's... Screenshot time! <laughs> Hello. Right, I've got a few for you today. Firstly, thank you to all the people, there were three or four, who suggested different types of, uh, different brands of waders to get. So oh, I've taken good. a note of them, and I particularly like the one from Robbie, who said you can get some, uh, oh, where was it? Felt soles. I think they cost a bit more money, but you get a really good grip on rocks. That's important. Though. Yeah, so I might look for felt soled ones. So thank you for that. Uh, Mazze, have you ever thought about getting some 
walking poles to help when you go on long walks. No. I were on about them yesterday, weren't I? <laughs> Sissy sticks. Sissy sticks, he calls them. If my legs are that bad, then I need a walking stick, and I certainly wouldn't be climbing up the tops of cliffs anyway, so... But yeah, I do have me walking stick. Look, I, I've still got that. Walking poles, I don't care what anybody says in the world, are just sissy sticks. They're a waste, complete and utter waste of time. I've tried them, I tried them on my Land's End walk, tried them for a good 40 or 50 miles probably. Rubbish, didn't do anything. There were no use whatsoever, they just got in the way. So, sissy sticks, bad idea for anybody. Um, Deb Allen, oh Dan, I forgot to ask you, what do you think of the new England football manager? So England have appointed a new football manager. His track red record is rubbish. He was the manager for Bayern Munich when they got stuffed last season because they were rubbish. And I think it is the worst choice football keeper, uh, football manager in the world. So there you go. The FA said that they interviewed ten other managers, and two of the big people who were big candidates for it, they've said they never got contacted by the FA. So load of rubbish. FA's rubbish. We should be voting for his next manager, not the FA. Anyway, I'm done with football. I'm done with football. I'm done with football. Calm down. <laughs> Count to ten. Uh, Paul Quinn, good idea Paul, put a little bit of bait, meat, in the rock pool and the fish might go up and eat it. Good idea. Just leave Never the really camera there, put bread in, anything. Yeah. So we'll yeah. give that a go next time we'll go rock pooling, thank yeah. you very much. Um, my last story is from Australia. Beaches in Australia have reopened for swimmers. Fantastic news. Why? That. Why? Where, sorry? Australia. Australia. They've reopened all the beaches. For what reason? Why? Why were they closed? I mean, yeah. Well, they closed them because there were a load of black blobs all over the beaches. Oh, I remember you telling me about that, yeah. No, that were a different one. Oh, was it? Yeah, this is, a, this is Australia. Um, just black blobs. So they didn't know what they were. They did tests on them and they're like tar, little black tar balls. But apparently they've done tests on it and they sim seem to have cosmetics and cleaning products in it, but they're still not sure what they are. Battery waste. Something weird's gone on there. <laughs> Something hazardous, isn't it? So that is it from me and uh, my screenshot times today. So, it's... Mazzy time! John Smith time! Mm. Cheers. What have I done? What have I done? Is it nearly ready? No, it's going to take a while. I like it really brown. Well, I'm going to take a little walk. Okay. Uh, this is the worst of the wind tomorrow. I've never seen red before. I thought it was amber. It changes, yeah, but this changes colour. No, it's, this changes colour, this windy oh, thing. Okay. So, <laughs> I know which direction the wind is going to be coming in the worst of the wind which at the moment is directly this way which is overnight Sunday night I ain't having that side onto me I'm not having it so oops oh it's windy so I'm gonna have a walk around look around the side and see if I can find a pitch I would like to be on where the wind is directly to the front of the van and then I can tell her tonight when I pay can I move there tomorrow let's go have a quick look around the worrying thing is I can't really find a better spot hmm. there's one right in the corner 11A <sighs> might be a better option definitely better option than this anyway we're not gonna die god we're in a three and a half ton vehicle which has got four and a half ton of John Smith's in it this ain't gonna blow over, is it? You have not. That's a lie anyway. Okay, tell them, what have I got? Four cans. Eight. You... Oh. Eight gonna... cans. I was gonna say, you just bought two four packs in. I emptied them here, they only had two four packs of John Smith's. Um, never mind. Eight cans, that'll do me for three weeks or something. Cut the 
Saturday. Three week or something. <laughs> right, well I've spent ten minutes you? Doing what? looking out there through my binoculars, nothing. They were a black and white bird. Don't think it were a penguin. Um I've got nothing to show you, I've got nothing to do. You're cooking away. Do you know though, I haven't stopped though. The second the second we pulled up, you were doing the lead and I straight away I was at this and I haven't sat down. Yeah, but I've been stuck on my own for the last hour. Yeah, I know, it has taken ages because I'm going to do proper uh, enchiladas, but enchiladas as we call them, but with minced beef because you want minced beef. So, yeah. Proper minced beef, none of that English junk from Tesco's, this is proper Scottish beef. There's going to be enough to feed the 5,000. Yeah, well, there's 5,000 of me tonight. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I have, haven't sat down. I have no idea what we're going to film while we're here. Well, I did say that. The storm. We up. Well, yeah, we've got We're going to be storm. stuck in the van. Yeah, but... I've got the did, island cows. Yeah, but what did I just say to you as well, though? Looking out over there, watching the waves splashing up and... It's going to be well cosy and good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but they don't want to see that. I don't think it's going to be as bad as everyone's making out. It is going to be bad. I, I was scared, but now, because today's okay, it's calm. I've had JP messaging me saying, Oh, be careful, there's going to be 60 mile an hour wind. We had 60 mile an hour winds yesterday. That was just a breeze. We've got <laughs> 75, 78 mile an hour winds it's forecasting here. Uh, not down in that softy bit you're in. No, we're in the man's country up here. 75 mile an hour and with the wrong direction for the wind. I'm, I'm getting scared, man. It's going to be Aberdeen all over again. Can you remember when we went to Aberdeen? And, <laughs> right, as Van was here, the sea was here, and there was an helicopter there and loads of sea and rescue people walking across. They're all searching for a body in the water. Turned out there wasn't someone missing. I just thought they might be missing, luckily. But that was the storm which blew this light out. And ever since that day, I've just held it in with cardboard. So anyway, I, I'm getting a bit worried. She will do when it happens and van starts rocking yeah, and people come a knocking. I hope they do come a knocking, Mazzy. I hope they don't. Um, I do just want to say to everyone though, just be careful in the storm and I hope you all get through okay and have no damage. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but in particular comment telling me to be safe in the us, sorry, us to be safe in the storm because <laughs> I'm scared. He always forgets that we're a couple. <laughs> it's coming straight for us, Mazzy. Storm, what's it called? Adrian? Ashley. Ashley. Storm Ashley. Storm Ashley. Yeah. So, good job anyway. We're somewhere where we can get a few supplies and stuff before it all happens. Supplies are no that. good if your van's on its well, side it's no or in the sea or over the <laughs> cliff. <laughs> Well, you're the stupid one that agreed to... You, you should have just parked over there and said to her, I'm not parking here for that. I don't mind tonight because it isn't coming tonight, but tomorrow morning it's going to be 50 mile an hour at 7 o'clock in the morning. Exactly, and we're on top of a I mean, cliff. The worst place we could have chosen. The worst direction we could have chosen. <laughs> but anyway... You know, if we'd have parked that way, which I did think about afterwards, um, would have been first in wind. Listen, I've just been recently watching all, and I'm still actually watching the, sort of the updates on the um, where it hit Florida, the hurricane and stuff. Now that's devastation. They were getting like over 100 mile per hour winds. Literally over 100 mile per hour winds. Awful. The devastation there was awful. So count your little 50 mile per hour in the morning. Count yeah, yourself I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good luck, Florida. No, they've gone through it. They're oh. now having to clear up after it. They're, I hope the you've place still got a house a and stuff. I'm sorry to hear all that. The place is a mess, bless them. Devastation. Ooh, devastation. What's devastation. That's not what we need. If you um. want to stay safe in your 85 mile an hour winds. Don't do devastation on our van. I don't want to be devastated. Can you remember? What was that program off? 
no dedication. Ooh, dedicate. It was um. What? Uh, they're all screaming at me, aren't they, all British viewers? It was um that where you got records, world records. Him on trumpet. Roy Castle. Tell me in the comments what's that program called because I can't remember. Uh, you know when you said open all hours house uh, shop or something was up for sale. Yeah. Uh, has that sold? No, I don't know. I was just interested. Oh. Yeah, if you want to buy open all hours house, hundred and fifty thousand pound, I believed it were up for. It's cheap, isn't it? It is for a bit of nostalgia. Yeah, damn right. Mm. There we have it just got to go in the oven now and bake so yeah that's going to be a spicy one i hope you're up for a bit of spicy food tonight darling can we leave it here please darling yes please darling yeah okay thank you all for joining us <laughs> thank you all stay safe so well in tonight mazzy tonight's not going to be too yeah, but bad you just never know we might not get a video out tomorrow we always get a video out because we're good um i found yeah, there's a spot down in the bottom corner I might ask for, and if we can't have that, I thought maybe along this bank here, um, facing this way, along the bank, because then as, as nose will be facing into the worst wind, and when the wind changes direction, it's in, coming from that way, which the bank will protect us, so I might, I don't know. And we've got the Highland cows, coos to look at. And... And we've got the storm coming. Yeah. And we're going to cook up a storm. I'm all done. I'm cleaning. cleaning no, up. on storm day. Oh, yeah. We'll cook up a storm. Yeah. And yeah, we'll still find things to do. Don't you worry. And then, as soon as this horrible <laughs> is out of the way, we can continue on our trip around the NC500. See you all tomorrow. Love you all to bit. Say Bye. goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>